Hello again, everyone. Edwin Leonard back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about transit Mars conjunct one's natal sun. Now, when we're talking about transits that involve Mars, they can be connected with action, motivation, drive, energy, our enthusiasm, even exuberance. And when you have um, this transit of Mars um, conjoining one's natal sun, it could manifest an action, a lot of activity, motivation, energy, and enthusiasm connected uh, with one's life. I mean, if it's in the zodiac sign Cancer, like in my case it would be, it could be the life of uh, introversion to some degree that's dominated by home. Uh, related uh, matters, the sun is about dominance. And I think the home life does dominate my existence uh, to some, you know, some degree, but anyway, and maybe a life of also nurturing, showing sympathy toward others if, this, if the sun is in cancer, the zodiac sun cancer is an example. Now, it's also about um, really uh, a lot of uh, motivation and matters with your vitality and your energy, and you might be doing things uh, at this time with a lot of uh, enthusiasm to increase perhaps your uh, your vitality, your energy level. Um, it may be, uh, I mean, the sun is also connected with our basic wants, so there you may be more action-oriented this time in terms of doing things associated with the basic wants, if it's in uh, Taurus, for example, it could be uh, accumulating possession, uh, acquisition of money, things that are just, um, it could be uh, doing things, uh, doing it with a lot of persistence as well, whatever you're, you know, whatever it may be for Taurus, because Taurus is um, about uh, persistence and uh, perseverance. Now, uh, another thing too is this could also be um, a time to where um, we're really being motivated in, in terms of uh, what your focus is going to be on. The sun can be about our focus, and this can be a time where you put a lot of it could be like a lot of concentration of power and energy because the sun is about you know, our attention, our focus, what we uh, what we put, what we concentrate on, and Mars is about. It's about our energy. It's about action and enthusiasm in this then. And uh, this could be, I mean, if it's in Gemini, it could be doing manifold things, expressing uh, versatility. Uh, could be putting your attention on a lot of things if it's in Gemini. Uh, if it's in Pisces, it could be matters with dancing or metaphysical, which includes astrology, poetry, chemistry. Um, photography some examples and also too you have um, I mean the Sun and Mars could both be connected with drive and motivation so this could be a lot of an intensified drive motivation at this time having the incentive to get up and go to get things uh, done and accomplished at this time more so than usual and the Sun could also be connected with the physical body now the ascendant is what dominates the appearance in the physical body but the Sun can play a role uh, as well in most cases um, you're going to have a different ascendant in contrast to your Sun sign so uh, the Sun is what you're really looking at more in terms of the physical body but the Sun can play a role as well now the thing is um, and again uh, it could be if it's in Gemini, it could be working out you know, your arms or you know, trying to get your, you know, your biceps and triceps bigger through working out vigorously. Uh, and also the sun can be, um, and if you have any issues with the physical body as well, this could be the time where you might be more inclined to take action with it. Sun is also associated with the biological father. So this could also be a time where um, it could be sometimes the situation could be heated with this person or it could be really um, maybe engaging in more activity uh, with, the, with, with the biological father expending a lot more energy and vitality with this person than usual um, courage uh, in matters uh, with, the, with the biological father or some superior and also the sun is where uh, one may want to shine 
And if you have this in Leo as an example, it could be in some, something with entertainment or acting or working with children, something of a creative nature. It could be sports, perhaps golfing more, could be more of a specific sport associated uh, with Leo. It could be some you know, product demonstration because uh, Leo knows how to boast uh, about things and uh, emphasize the positive qualities in an item. Or the military is another example for Leo. Also remember too that the Sun, um, as far as anatomically speaking, can be connected with the heart, the spine, the upper back, and the left or right eye depending on gender. So this could be a time where these issues, you know, if you have any, might cause a little bit more acrimony and anger more so than usual, but it's also about it could manifest in taking initiative in these issues as well. If you procrastinated for any point in time and you had some problems with any of the things I just described, then it could be the time now where the hesitation is discarded, is thrown out the window, and you may actually do something about it. Um, and also to remember, I mean, Mars can, again, I mean, is about uh, our enterprise uh, initiative and also it could reflect uh, impatience at times. Now, when you have this transit hitting your sun, remember the sun is about life. It could be, it's about our life. And you might be, uh, it might be a time where you're more impatient regarding where your life is going. If it's in Capricorn, for example, this transit, it could be a lot of laborious efforts and disciplined hard labor, but you might feel like you're not making much progress in that, and despite all those efforts, and it could be a time where you might be, you know, really uh, wondering when, when am I going to be making uh, more progress now. And also, too, this could be about having the courage uh, to shine. Mars can be about courage and fortitude. The sun again can be associated with shining. Say if it's in Scorpio as an example, it could be through matters with the occult, the supernatural astrology, maybe investigation, locksmithing. It could be uh, you know, working with forensics, law enforcement, uh, recycling. Also too, you might be more uh, more uh, aggressive and assertive and outspoken and especially aggressive and assertive in terms of what you want you know in the zodiac sign cancer it could be something with the home having a family um maybe understanding your ancestry a little bit more and you might be and it could also be um it could also be as well more outspoken energy in matters with the biological father, uh, authority figures, a supervisor, as an example. Now, if it's in Libra, as an example, it could be through just matters that are pertaining to what is fair and equitable. Could be about unfair treatment at your job if you're confronting a supervisor, and it could be a time, of course, where you might uh, be more confrontational, more so uh, than usual uh, at this time. And, uh, and the thing too, looking at this as well, uh, another way this could manifest, Mars could be connected with sex, and the sun is the ego. So it could be a time where the sexual encounters, more activity sexually, might fuel your ego more so than usual. Um, if it's in Sagittarius, it may be done with a lot of uh, enthusiasm, exuberance, Maybe it's with a, uh, a foreigner or someone of a different uh, ethnic background. Maybe if it's, in Ge if it's in Gemini, it could be with manifold barters in some isolated cases. Gemini is about variety, of course. Now, in isolated cases, keep in mind, Mars is connected. I mean, Mars is connected in isolated cases as far as Mars being connected with surgery. Mars is associated with surgery, but in isolated cases, there may be this transit could manifest in maybe surgery to the um, to the physical with the physical body and injuries uh, associated with it. If it's in Gemini, it could be something with the arms or the hands or some you know carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, you know, if it's an Aquarius, it could be something with the you know the calves or you know, the ankles, the shins, uh, lower legs. 
uh, Capricorn, maybe something with the knees, the bones, the joints, hamstrings. Hold on a moment, people. Sorry about that, I'm back, but anyway. Now, it could be a time, too, where you might find yourself, I mean, being driven and more motivated towards self-expression at this time. Now, let's say if this transit falls in Taurus or Libra, it could be through artistry. Uh, let's say uh, if it's in Scorpio, it could be through something with the cult, the astrology, supernatural, as far as self-expression goes. And also, these two planets are associated with energy and vitality. So you, I would be careful at this time when you have you know two energies that are that are similar you have uh, you know you know you, it intensifies the, the meaning whatever whatever one they have in common with each other it couldn't it could be about intensification of that energy so when you have energy meeting energy sometimes in a negative manifestation it could result in overexertion expending too much energy even dehydration especially if you have mars and like leo or aries or you, know, you have a lot of you know that fire and that heat it could be you know it could result you know if you're in a hot climate especially as well where you know you may be overheated or succumb to some kind of dehydration you know and you know which of course you know I, I guess could require hospitalization some isolated cases so it's something that just to look at um, you know at this time and remember the you know the Sun you know, you're expending energy and if you're by the Sun you know at this time it could you know there, there might maybe greater propensity toward getting maybe sunburn uh, at this time and the Mars could be about you know irritations and redness and, uh, and then you know the Sun of course is what it is the Sun can uh, being too you know outside with the Sun too long and you don't have your protection on then of course you can uh, get sunburned so anyway people that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment until next time people everyone learn saying stay well